Um, so I think I've, yeah, I think I've largely got over the idea sharing thing. I mean, I think the way I look at it now, <laughs> I've had a few existential crises in the intervening period between me starting Tunable and now. So, I mean, my whole, well, yeah, my whole outlook has changed in, in some ways. And so now, to be honest, uh, I guess I, I try and focus more on just managing my environment, being positive, I don't know, meditating and praying when when uh, when I see fit and then sort of having some faith and seeing what happens and what will be will be. Uh, one thing that I have, um, it's kind of divi divi divisive actually um, in, in, in the community in the sort of like, if you've heard of the law of attraction, I you might have heard of that it's sort of, yeah. So I actually have decided, I, I decided not to make tunable or the success of tunable contingent upon my happiness. Um, so some people might say, okay, you need to, you know, you need to concentrate on that and that's all you concentrate on and then it comes true, which I think could well be the case. But then equally, um, I don't think it's wise to, to place your happiness in like material realms. And at the end of the day, whatever good I think Tunable could do, and I, I have some pretty grandiose visions for it, like uh, redistributing income on grand scales and, you know, helping the artistic community and changing the world. Um, <laughs> but it is still, it is still it. A, like, it's a, it's a material construct, you know, and I'm going to die someday. And then there are other things that are going to, going to, going to take over. So um, yeah, fear of, um, yeah, the fear of, fear of sharing the idea is gone, but there's still, yeah, I don't know. There's some latent fear there somewhere, but I'm working on it. <laughs> it's primordial, mate. And uh, it's interesting, the not 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 being too attached to an idea um, for your own happiness' sake is very important. And I think we often put far too much pressure on ourselves, especially during these ventures. And obviously, if we don't, if you end up setting yourself up with certain milestones and one or two end up being unsuccessful. Um, a lot of people, and I've definitely been liable to this, have ended up beating themselves up. And I think in essence, you ended up beating yourself up over something you can actually demotivate yourself, for lack of a better term, and end up disassociating yourself from the importance of the project and even even just losing interest altogether. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it can become a, it can become a, a sort of negative feedback loop yeah a burden um, almost yeah absolutely yeah. absolutely i mean i um, i've definitely found that like, even 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 doing even doing my podcast like you know you have a couple of days when um you just don't you don't fancy it <laughs> you know, yeah. I, you know yeah. like yesterday i just i you know i just kind of i closed my laptop about midday and i just chilled out for the rest of the afternoon and I was fine with that. And, um, you know, I got on this morning, wasn't, uh, wasn't as quick to do as many things as I was expecting to do, but you know what? It's fine because I'm still sat at my desk. I'm still doing this. I'm still okay with it. And I'm not going to look back and be like, Oh, I should have done it this way. I should have done that. I should be here now. Cause if I'm not here now, then I'm not as, as much as of a success as I thought I was going to be because again, yeah. it's too much. It becomes a burden. It's sad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's striking a balance between setting goals and reaching them, and just like drifting without any goals. Obviously, there's a there's a there's a there's a balance to be struck. There is, there is, because yeah, you can too you far can way, exactly. Well, it's a little bit like uh, as you're mentioning your vision. You still have your vision, and you still are essentially working towards it. You don't necessarily mm -hmm. have to be forcing yourself to work work towards it every day. It's just uh, you know, as long as it's there in the in the foreground. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'm just passively manifesting it it'll come to me i'm not sure it's, it'll arrive it'll arrive via fedex some someday <laughs>